From the East Tennessee Weather Center, here's your evening weather update with meteorologist Mike Witcher. Well, did you feel the heat pick up just a little bit today? Yeah, it has definitely started to pick up every single day, and that's going to be the story here over the next several days. So as we highlight the past weekend, we were at 85 on Friday, 87 on Saturday, 89 degrees on Sunday. But then today, thanks to this ridge of high pressure that continues to build its way on in, temperatures come up just a little bit more. So upper 80s yesterday, low 90s today. Crossville made it to 88, 96 in Chattanooga, and 91 degrees in Tri-Cities. But as I mentioned, this ridge of high pressure will continue to build on in. So it's going to be sunny, hot, and dry with near record high temperatures for most of the week. Rain chances do start to ramp up by the end of the week. And then heading into the weekend, we've got a big football game. We're looking at the possibility of some stronger thunderstorms. So we'll keep an eye on that. But it is still going to be hot and muggy. So enjoy the rest of your evening here tonight. It's going to be a nice night. It's, uh, 90 degrees here at the 6 o'clock hour, 85 degrees at 8, and 78 degrees at 10 o'clock here tonight. So... Temperatures will come on down. Morning lows, you've probably felt that over the last couple of days. Morning lows have come up just a little bit thanks to more moisture slowly but surely being added to the atmosphere. So as we get into our Tuesday morning, 67 to start the day. We'll warm to 86 for your lunch hour, so a nice lunch hour. But it's going to be a hot and a little bit muggier of an afternoon. So temperatures are expected to climb back into the 90s. Again, remember that ridge of high pressure is building on in. That's going to put our heat index values a little bit toastier, closer to 100 degrees down by Chattanooga. So we're back to that extreme summer heat. And we're actually expanding that heat stress just a little bit. Okay, because remember that the humidity hasn't really picked up a ton. So we're going to increase the heat stress a little bit on Tuesday. We'll increase it even more so on, on Wednesday. It's going to be even stronger on Thursday. Remember that ridge was building on in, right? And then by Friday... As the boundary starts to move in, increasing our chances for some showers and thunderstorms, the heat stress will start to come on down. I keep talking about this big ridge, but here is the culprit for the excessive heat that we're going to be experiencing this week. That's in the upper parts of the atmosphere. So as we get into, say, Thursday, Friday, it's going to be kind of centered right over East Tennessee, and that brings us a lot of sinking air. Behind it, there's a disturbance that we've been talking about for the last few days that looks to scoop on in. As we wrap up the week and get into our Saturday, and I think that's going to bring us increasing chances for some showers and thunderstorms. So again, to kind of recap how this ridge of high pressure is going to dominate, temperatures will be in the low to mid-90s, and then we'll get into the upper 80s, back closer to those seasonal averages Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Uh, but remember, the dew points are going to gradually climb, not a ton, but the air starts to get a little bit more humid, more so Thursday, even more Friday, Saturday, and Sunday time frame. And so when you add temperatures back to the 90s, yep, we're talking heat index values, upper 90s to maybe close to 100 degrees. So <laughs> a very hot week. Kind of back and forth and back. False fall? What is this, second summer? Come on now. And as we look ahead, though, there is a pocket of cool air that may swing its way on into the area for the first week or so of September. Now let's talk rain, because by the end of the week, we're going to need the rain, right? We haven't had any rainfall since the 19th. And we were dry today, we're going to be dry tomorrow, we're going to be dry on Wednesday, maybe still dry on Thursday. So it's a solid stretch of some very dry air, then the rain chances ramp up, but how much do we actually see out of this system? Well, nothing through Wednesday, a little bit, quarter of an inch maybe, generally speaking on by Friday. And then as we get into the weekend, maybe not a whole lot more. So again, a quarter of an inch of rain may not be enough to actually mitigate the dry conditions and the... Uh, extension of our dry air that's been in place. But looking ahead towards the start of September, maybe there's a little bit more of a return flow. And maybe we do start to see a little bit more precipitation taking shape. Of course, you can check in every single day with the East Tennessee Weather app. If you don't have it, maybe you're seeing this on social media, check it out. Download it today. Just search East TN Weather, all one word, in the App Store and download it. Get everything that you need for weather here in East Tennessee. I am also raising money for the American uh, Red, uh, excuse me, the American Cancer Society. And I will just have to say a big shout out to Farm Bureau of Hamblin County. Because I did a live broadcast here this past weekend. Not everyone has to beat this, but if you could beat this, this would be great. Farm Bureau wrote me a check for $1,000 for the American Cancer Society. I'm raising money for breast cancer awareness, breast cancer research here in East Tennessee. Thank you. Farm Bureau of Hamblin County for the huge donation. 
amazing stuff right there. If you would like to donate, you can. I have a link at the top of my app and also online at easttnweather.com, right there at the top of the page. Check it out. Donate today if you can. I'd love your support. We'll see you back here for Wake Up With Witcher starting at 7 o'clock in the morning. Of course, your weather updates start at 6 o'clock in the morning. And uh, check in every once in a while. Have a great night.